In this video, I'm going to talk to you about importing contacts. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do it. You can mainly import contacts. You can uh, import contacts via a spreadsheet. And actually, there is another way you can do it, is if you are connected to other softwares via API, you can have contacts be synced. But that is real advanced and for another day. So what we're going to do is uh, show you how to do this. So here I am in the contact screen. And all these contacts, by the way, are dummy contacts. They're fake contacts. So I'll have another video, but let me just give you a quick tip. If you need to create fake contacts in your system so you can have a demo or anything like that, go to makaroo.com. So that's where I've gotten mine. And you can just create a list of fake contacts. Let me show you first how you want to just manually add someone. So if you just want to manually add someone, you can just click Add Contact, and you're going to put them in. And we're going to say Joe... Smith, email, awesomecompany.com, and phone number, and then are they a lead or are they a customer? And we'll talk about contact types later because you can have different contact types. Um, let's just say Joe's a lead, and we're going to choose a time zone uh, right here. And then do you know Joe already wants to be, like, not receive emails or not receive texts? And if that's the case, you could opt out of anything at the moment right here. But just like that, now it's created a contact for Joe. And here you can see Joe's contact screen. Um, there are some other additional nuances that we do, like preferred name and so forth. And we'll talk about those in other uh, videos. They're more advanced things that I've done for the system. But for right now, that's how you add someone individually. If you want to add someone, like a group of people, you want to import them via a spreadsheet and import contacts. And I happen to have a file ready. So I'm going to go to the mock data. And this is what I received from Makaroo. Then we're going to click next. These are all going to come in as leads. And we're going to map the fields, right? And it gives us an, some examples, um, you know, the first name and the last name. So we're going to map first name, last name, email, phone, time zone. So let's see. Uh, time zone. We're going to map that. And there we go. Now we're going to click next. If we wanted to add a tag, for example, we could add a tag, like say that all these people, we're going to say um, mock demo, right? So we'll know that these people have just put in, put in for the mock demo, and that's a tag on those. Uh, and if you wanted to add them to an, a workflow, let's say you have workflows already in place, that when a new contact comes in, you want to make sure they get added to that particular workflow so it either uh, sends them a hello or a welcome or a lead magnet or anything like that. You could do that as well uh, right there by toggling that on. Uh, anyway, we're going to click Submit. And just like that, uh, it's going to import everyone into the system. Another thing, when you import, uh, you can choose to add new contacts or if contact already exists, just update the existing contact with new data that you're putting in. So all these contacts already existed within here because I'd already uploaded them. But as you can see, they have the tag mock demo. So it updated these contacts with new information that I had for them. In this case, they've all been uh, tagged as uh, mock demo. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's how you import contacts and I'll see you in the next video.